What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Unleash. I wanted to do another one of these here just to see what the game was like. We did the tutorial last time, so we're just going to jump in and do a quick game. Um, where you combat other players in a free-for-all battle. 1v1. Same as Lion Tower Wars, but you just go against one. Tower defense, classic tower defense, where you defend against waves of monsters. Sandbox. Test towers and monsters in any way you like. Monsters spawn on your own lane. Uh-huh. Okay, well here, let's start with the tower defense. Player count, eight. Private? No. Can we do a scenario? There's chapters. I wonder what the chapters are for. And I wonder if... Uh, Can we do like AI? I guess not. Okay. Lion Wars v one v one. So we actually have to get into a a game. I don't want to create a game. I just want to go play a freaking game. Why the hell can't you let me do that? Quick join or create a game. No, I want to join. Add a bot. All right, whatever. Loading. Okay, so we got to. Uh, what can we? Uh, all structures. Machine gun. And I need walls before I can do that. Or do I not? Oh, okay, never mind. I was too far ahead. Okay, so if we're gonna do something like that, then we gotta do Unleash already. What the hell? Uh there. Like so. that flamethrower electrical tower I'll grab a couple of those do that okay that thing just oh it went through my uh, thing okay Flamethrower, mortar, quad mount. I don't even know what I'm building here. <laughs> uh, let's get a flamethrower. Build some more walls. Get this. What the hell is that? Flamethrower. That's what I wanted. Yeah, we're gonna make him go through a bit of a maze here. Um, wait. I'm gonna do this guy. Here, here, there. Over there. There. I'll put one of these guys right in the middle. Right here. I don't think anything's making it through. I haven't seen anything <laughs> yet, so we're doing pretty good. And then we are going to do something like this. Reinforced wall. Wow. A freezer, sky hook, frost cannon. There. 
Well, then let them all gather up in here. Okay, so that can go over here. And then... One of those. Small electrical tower just in case something small gets through. One of those guys. One of those guys. What the hell was that? Diesel tower. Looks like we might need some flamethrowers. Okay. See, now we can start sticking things like behind the wall. Like that. Do another quad mount, maybe. Why not? Another tower over here. What else do we have? Fraser, flak, anti air weapon. Yeah, let's put a couple of those bad boys down. Just in case something happens to fly over and we don't actually see it. That's the wrong thing. Won't let me do it. Hmm. Yeah, see, these guys are getting... Do that there. Sell that. There. On there. This is like def definite murder for anyone. That's, mm, frost cannon, machine gun. There and okay. How are we doing here? Let's see the flying blobs. There it is. Poof gone. I supposed to be doing something here oh that's why oh I'm supposed to be doing both oh well fine give me all the things now that I've built up my defenses we'll just unleash a wall of hell we'll let it all charge up because I don't think anything's getting through here Because those uh, flamethrowers do a ton of damage to everything. And you can see, like, it just melts those things before they even get a chance to get anywhere near anything. The only thing we may have problems with is the flying things if they can get to a certain area. So we may end up having to put a couple more Tesla coils, you know, in the, around the areas. But as you can see, well, okay, never mind. Seem to be doing pretty good there. 
and we got a bunch of cash and we got everything all leveled up and ready to go so let's do um, everything throw it all at him there we go there burn the money let's see how we do Oh, you can't even focus, baby. That's right. We we're coming to get you. Oh, wow. That's not easy, man. Pretty unbelievable when you ask me. Like, these guys are good for fire, so that's one good thing. But he's upgrading his defenses and shit like that, trying to get us, and I think he's got the frost gun or whatever there. Alright, so we, the big guy's made it through. Because he has quite a bit of fire things. And it seems like a lot of these don't uh, do a lot of damage to other things. So we're doing pretty good there. I don't think he's gotten anyone through. And we gotta get, I think, 24... The number of monsters. Oh no. Okay, I thought maybe that's how much we had to get out of there. Yeah, but I think these fire things, they seem to be the the go-to. Because it doesn't really seem to be doing anything. Let's see if we can just do a bunch of these. Get a bunch of them done. I don't care how much you upgrade, buddy. You ain't getting nothing. We're coming for you, buddy. Yeah, you're not doing nothing. Yep, all this stuff is dead. They're not even making it anywhere near here. Let's see how we do here. I wonder how many rounds it goes to. I think it would be as... If this reaches zero, you're, you're defeated. Oh, he's at 39. Oh, okay. Well, let's see what happens when we get these guys going through. As you can see, it's not really doing a whole lot of damage to the chunk of them, so. He built it so we had to go around now before we didn't have to, but even still, it doesn't really matter because it's all flamethrowers. So they're not doing a whole lot of damage. I do like that setup, though, where you make them wind through because then they get attacked by this twice. You know what I mean? So it looks like the lead guys are getting hit, but look at the strength of the other ones. They're not even taking any damage. Yep, that guy's just kicking the ass all over the place. See, and he hasn't really finished this yet, so... It's like you're, you're really not doing much. I think I'm going to end up killing this guy probably with this batch. Even when the guys... There were two guys with him, so... One out of three is making it, unless you do it in a large group like this. Then it's like, holy crap, dude, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> he just built, well, ah, crap, block him in. <laughs> oh, little sandbags. I didn't know you could do that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so these guys are going to go through right to here. So we'll see what happens with the guy's health once we get in there. And look at the money we got versus him. So that's, um, it's one per, I think. Because I started off with 32 of them, I think. So if we go up to 21, we should probably have this guy. Let's do 23. There. This thing's almost dead. Oh yeah, some of my things are broken. Like the walls and stuff. But I'm not really concerned about that. Um, what we could do though... Flamethrower... Right there. Let's 
So you do have to upgrade things as you're going through. Um, so we could upgrade the wall, 20 out of 50 for health. See, it. so stuff like that. Yeah. Well, let me upgrade this guy. That should stop anything from going through. Yeah, see this poor guy all by himself, he's gonna die. Yeah, this flamethrower is just murdering everything. Oops, upgrade this guy. Why don't we do these too? Oh, you're gonna die now, Cloud. You're gonna die now, man. Look at that. Even one of them takes it out. Right, upgrade that one too. So he's done a little bit more work here. You can see we're gonna lose another one. There's another one gone. So he's really upped his game. Let's uh, do a bunch more. I mean, we got a ton of cash, so what the hell, right? There, we got 40. Oh, and when zigzagging them makes it uh, hurt a lot more. So you know what, let's do a bunch more. You know he's gonna die. There. No matter what, buddy, you're dead. <laughs> you're gonna die now, foo. And I think that's what you gotta do. It's like when you find out what their weakness is, exploit it. Oh wow, look at this. So what if we do, uh, what is that, Bomb Belly, Gem Juggler, Magma Back, where is, I'm going to upgrade that guy, and this guy, yeah we'll get that guy upgraded, we didn't actually make anything through, he's really added to it and I haven't had to do anything, I mean look at my guys here, and I upgraded a couple of the machines and stuff, but Let's upgrade a bunch more of these. Are you gonna make it now, buddy? Yeah, upgrade a few more of these. Let's upgrade this big guy back here. Get a couple more of those going. And upgrade that. There. That guy. What is this? Rift Eye. Hmm. Yeah, like I can upgrade everything. Can I um click and drag? Upgrade. All of it. Nice. Oh, that's badass. You're messing with the wrong guy now, foo. You as good as dead. Oh. There we go. This guy's 
so screwed. Okay. Should we try these guys now? 2011 health. Holy shit balls. It's taking a lot longer to get these to go up, but uh, what does it cost? 400 bucks. We're going to have to wait for a little bit of money to come through. That cloud seems to be posing a bit of a problem. Let's see what happens with that mortar. Upgrade this again. That thing's almost dead right there. See, he's almost dead too. But I don't want to sit there and send out a bunch of these guys if I'm not going to be able to handle it. So I'll do 400 per. Um, we could do 10 right now. Okay, now we could do what? 12? 14 almost. And I want to send out a big cluster. Okay, and... Okay, that's how that works. 400 gold over 15 seconds. So it takes a full 15 seconds for that to work. Yeah, you can see this is just killing it. Weird how it doesn't take any damage at the beginning. It's like it has some sort of a defense on it that stops it. Okay, so we can do 20 of these guys now. Let's send them all out. Oh god, look at these guys. They're brutal. Yeah, I bet you weren't expecting that now, were you? Oh, you're so screwed now, buddy. And I wonder if I could do, like, if I put a flamethrower here, I wonder if I could replace the wall with a flamethrower. I don't know if that's how that works or not. Let's wait and see what happens. Let's see how my guys are doing over here. Oh man, they're, they're killing it. Look at that, they don't even have any damage. This guy's all by himself taking the brunt of the damage too. Oh. Wow. And I think again, that's key, is like you, you unload and you look at the weapons that he has, right? So this guy's got quite a few flamethrowers, so Take, put the enemies in there that are okay with um, with fire, right? Like you look at this, 95% resistance against fire, 300 vulnerability against ice. So if this guy has a ton of ice, you don't use these, right? You would use something that has uh, no ice damage. Where would it be? Mm, 0.9, that thing right there, 0.9 damage to ice. Um, Yep, something like that would be fine because it would just be on par. Oh yeah, this guy is so screwed now. <laughs> so screwed. Yeah, you trying to upgrade now? You're in a panic, foo. Ain't gonna work. We're just slaughtering everything. I don't think I've seen anything make it here yet. May have been some. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because this is where the flamethrowers would take out those other guys. So like right here, this guy's going down. See times three to fire. 
And that's why if you're doing things, is I think probably best to have something where you've got like a line of ice, a line of fire, a line of electrical, so that you're stopping everything, but it's all in one spot, and you're concentrating. Because things, other things do do damage, right? Like the fire does damage to these guys, but not a lot. Right, five percent damage of whatever it does. So if it does a hundred damage normally, it would only do five to these guys. So it'll still do damage, but not as much. But you'll have that line of defense, <laughs> what the game is, um, where you're going to be able to take them out. So it's all concentrated. You're going to walk by an area that's all ice, and it's like you're not going to make it through here. I think every single one of my guys has made it through. And that is also going to be key, is the amount of health. Once you find that weakness, exploit it. Look at that, we got one guy who might die. Wow. We actually lost, oh, we lost two. Oh, no, wait, nope, they're going through. So he's dying. And here it is. Once these two guys go through, we're dead. He's dead, and we win. Bam! Income 2098, base 21,000. So I didn't really spend a whole lot. He spent 48 grand on his base. And again, that's the key is that you need to uh, upgrade your stuff to make sure that you're able to do it. I think less is more in this case because I don't know. Can we look at my stuff? Yeah. If we go here, um, you can see. A lot of my guys were they were dying right around this area so we got one two three four might have had something come down here but if you actually do like five lanes that could be enough as long as you're upgrading your machinery and then you're not going to spend as much money but you're concentrating the amount of power and doesn't just keep an eye on it and make sure that you've actually got it so that's going to do it for this episode. Let me know what you're thinking about this here. And um, I may do one more, but this might be it. Um, very cool game to play. And I don't know, maybe we can try in another episode. Maybe we'll do something like uh, wherever the hell it was. Line Tower Wars, uh, Tower Defense. Yeah, this one here where you can pick a different chapter. Maybe we'll try a different level. See what those actually look like. You know, go in here quick. Okay, I can't actually do bots, but I'll have to figure that out. So, anyways, everybody, thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you did enjoy the video, you already know what to do. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care.